In this video, we are going to see how to print a hollow rectangle pattern in Python. So let's get started. So open your code. So now we'll use two for loops for one for the row and one for the column. So for i in range of five, first let us give a static value. Once we complete, we'll try with dynamic values also. The user can give the number of rows and column in the runtime. So now for the inner loop, let's use j for j in range of five give colon and now use the if condition if the i is equal to equal to zero if it is the first value first place i'll explain you this in a diagrammatical representation once we are done with the output so if i is equal to equal to zero or i is equal to equal to four the last value or j is equal to equal to zero or j is equal to equal to four here okay so now give colon here print in single quotes give asterisk comma and equals to leave it null because it will automatically give a line break if you don't add this end here so you won't be able to get a rectangle pattern so if this is done yes okay then else part if it is not these values if i and j are not 0 4 and 0 4 you have to just print this part the else part print just put uh, empty here leave it empty and comma end equals to just leave a space so that we get a space in between the triangles sorry rectangle so now it will print in the beginning first row and first column and last row and last columns so we'll get a rectangle so once this inner loop is done, we need to break the line to go to the next row. So after this, you have to just in this line indentation, just give a break. So in this to give break function, just add a empty print, empty print function here. Just don't put anything inside this. So now let us run the program, open your terminal and run the program. Just give py file name try dot py with the extension hit enter and you got your triangle successfully. Okay, so now let us try it with the dynamic thing. Like when we run the program, the user should put the number of rows and columns. So we'll make a variable dollar, sorry, like row equals to uh, input of, just put your message here, enter the number of rows. Copy and paste the same thing, change this to columns, enter the number of columns and add it over here, column. So now just change this to row because you're using the outer loop for the row here and the inner loop for the column. So here just put it instead of four, I is for the row column, sorry, the row loop. So put here row minus one and J is for the column. So column minus one. For those who are not understanding, just uh, once this is done, I will show you in a diagrammatical representation so you can understand easily. So now let us run the program. So run it, enter the number of rows, we'll give five, the number of columns, six. Okay, there is some error string object cannot be interpreted as integer. So here it is taking as a uh, string. So let us give here int, we'll put here int and it will take only integer input. So add the close bracket here and here also. So save and run the program now. Five, six, okay. So you see you got five rows. You see one, two, three, four, five rows and here six columns. So now if you want, you can print it this way or this way. Like I need only three rows and 10 columns. So you see, you'll get a, this kind of triangle or hollow triangle. So in this video, we have seen how to print this. So now let us see the explanation how this is working in an excel so here let us keep the y so y will be it is running let us keep for five now okay so i just make this static for now five we'll just add here itself five number of rows is five number of column is five okay so now let us go to the Excel. So it will run five times. For example, let us keep one, two, three, 
so the while loop in the sense does here it is j the second loop this is for the rows so it is in the row so now this is the columns so here i will be i is 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay let us keep 5 so now i am printing a like square type so here how it works is once the first time it will come it will take the value as 0 so if we give 5 here so it will take 0 to 4 so i am just keeping it 1 2 3 4 5 for clear understanding so when it's come to the first time so it will be in the first row and the first column so here we have given if it is 0 so if it in the first if it is the first time then come inside this when we have given or condition here so it is understood that any one of this condition if it is true it will just enter inside this so here it is true so it will print asterisk over here then as j will increment so it will go to second column so it will check here now j will become one now j was zero and here it will become true anyways in this other time so now uh, i is still zero and j is become one so now again we'll check i is zero it is true so again to print then uh, you don't have to check all this if anything one gets true it will just enter inside so now j becomes 3 i is still 0 so this will keep getting true for the whole j loop so it will be printing an asterisk till 5 so once this is done it will just go to i will become 1 now here so it will come to the 1 here so this is the okay i'll just make it 0 1 2 and 3 and 4 as it is starting from 0 1 2 3 4 so it will take the values as uh, not till 5 it will take 0 1 2 3 4 okay so now it has turned to the second time in i you will get the value as 1 now it was 0 for the first time now it is 1 and then j will start from 0 so if i equal to equal to 0 no it is false i is 1 now and i equal to equal to row minus 1 we have given row as here we have, you can see here we have given row as 5 and column as 5 so we got this output so it is not equal to i is now 1 here so it is not equal to this nor this so let us go to the j thing j is equal to equal to 0 it is equal to 0 because we are going the first time you can see here we are in the 0th column so here it will go inside this and print an asterisk over here so once it is printed it will go next increment j it will become 1 now so it will search if i is not true because the whole this loop i will have the same value so no need to check i will go to j j equal to equal to 1 anywhere no then it will increment 2 3 and 4 so once it is 4 it is 5 minus 1 here because we have given 5 columns so 5 minus 1 4 so j becomes 4 true so it will enter in the last in the fourth place so here it become an asterisk will come here so once it is done it will go to the i now i will become two here so it will check if uh, sorry it will come inside the j j will become zero again now so i is equal to equal to zero so now our i value is two you can see here we are in the second row so here it become won't it won't become true neither here it will become true so j equal to equal to zero yes j is in the zero column so you can just print a asterisk over here then it will print here and again increment j to 1 so one when j become 1 then it will check i will have the same value it didn't become true in the first time so the whole j loop it won't become true just check here j equal to 1 no so only here so if it is not equal to 1 then again it increment it will become j equal to 2 so no condition is satisfying with 2 then it will go to 3 j is equal to equal to 3 no and j equal to 4 so this is 5 minus 1 4 we have here so it will take in the fourth column it will take an asterisk over here to print so the same thing for 3 also i will become 3 and it won't get true here and only this j is equal to 0 will get true here and again this will be empty and here in the fourth place it will come a star here we can print so once it comes to 4 here so in this row we have given 5 and column also we have given 5 so now we will check here i equal to equal to 0 false i equal to equal to 5 minus 1 4 so we are in the fourth row only now so it is true here so it will print asterisk or here so print asterisk so then it will go next 
j is equal to equal sorry j will become 1 now first in the first count it was 0 now it became 1 so it will come here i equal to equal to 0 no it is 4 so here it will become true again so the whole j thing it will be the same i will be i will have the same value so now it will become true then for the next thing again i will have the same value so one condition is getting true you don't have to check the others in the or condition so it will print asterisk till the last here once it is done it will just go out so it is out of the range so it will stop executing here so here you got your uh, rectangle view here it's actually square just because of the spacing it looks like a rectangle you can see here you got a hollow square here so in this video we have seen how to print a hollow square or rectangle shape according to the user's input and uh, we have understood how it is working clearly so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching